So now that we've got our fleet server, fleet server running, we're going to uh, add an integration. So let's go to here and let's go to um, integrations. Security. And add security integrations. And we're going to select Elastic Defend. Look at it. I'm going to use this as a um, as a Windows Windows agent, Windows client agent. So you can see here, Elastic Defend prevention, detection, response across Windows, Mac OS, and Linux operating systems running on both traditional endpoints and public cloud environments. So we can use it to prevent malware attacks, um, alert and give alerts, um, detect threats, and um, it, it will detect threats and it'll feed back into um, Fleet and back into um, back into Elastic. So uh, let's look at um, adding the Elastic Defend. So we're going to add Elastic Defend, and we'll call it. Uh, Windows Defend. So we'll use traditional endpoints. So we'll just select traditional endpoints and select um, Next generation antivirus, and we're going to use new hosts, and we'll call this um, Windows Defend Policy. So now we can um, save and continue. We'll just wait for that to come up. Okay, so our Elastic Defend integration has now been added. So that's great. So I'll add the Elastic Agent to a host. So we're adding the agent and we're adding the agent to fleet. And uh, we've got an enrollment token. So um, let's. Um, Use the default enrollment token. Now, these are for different agents. So we've got a Linux agent, we've got a Mac agent, a Windows agent, and so forth. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the, I'm going to put this in a Windows, Windows server. So let's just grab this and make a copy of that and uh, just save that. And um, because that's what we're going to have to run in Windows. And um, let's let's also grab um, let's also grab a copy for um, for Linux as well. I'll grab the Linux one. I'll make a copy of that, and I'll paste that in there. And I'll file save as, and I'll call this one Linux. Save, and I'm not going to worry about um, RPM, Deb, Kubernetes, that'll be fine. So the next thing I need to do is I need to fire up my Windows machine. So I've got a Windows, I, I do have a... Um, Uh, Windows 10 client that I can use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to next and geez, so, ah, 
Windows 1064, that looks a bit better. So I'll make that um, four gig of RAM. And I'm going to use an existing VHD. I'll go and find my virtual hard disk. So I've just got a copy, making a copy of a VDI file which I can use for my Windows client, and I've got it there. So let's um, go and uh, use an existing one, and I need to attach it, so I'll add it. And this is the one I want, VMs, color Purple, Windows 10, Windows 10 client. Yep. And so that's my Windows 10. And I'll choose that one. And next, and finish. So this is a member of a domain. So it'll be interesting. I'll have to log on locally. It should be OK. If not, I'll, I'll um, remove it from the domain. Um, so I'll just start this one up and just make sure that this uh, Windows client is um, is doing the right. Oops, actually, before I do, uh, I'll just close that, power it off. Um, I just need to make sure that my network settings, I need, yeah, I need the, I need this on an internal network. Um, so it's on the, um, the LAN, it's on the same LAN as my, um, as my Kali Purple. Yep, so that's okay. So system settings, 4 gig of RAM, storage is okay, network, internal network, yep, and I'll start starting up. So my Windows 10 client's now running, so I'll just, um, just make sure I've got um, shared clipboard and uh, drag and drop, and I'll just log in. So control alt delete, and I want to do other user. So I'll just log in as administrator. And with my um, password. Complex password, oops. Ah. Uh, that's him. Maintain client here. Yeah. Oops, double look. So I should be able to log in locally. No. That's better. Got to get the right user. Now we're signing in. Okay. Uh, yes, I want this to be discoverable. Okay, so now I'm signed into my Windows machine. And uh, what I can do is I can um, I can run PowerShell and I can um, set up that um, that um, that client in my Windows client. But before I do, I just need to make sure that, um, that I've got an IP address on the network. So I'll just do a... Um, I'll be configured all, and you can see I'm here 192.168.1.101. So find that so in CIP 192.168.1.101. Yep, and I'll just do that. Yep, and I'll just do that. And I'll just do that. Yep, and I'll And you can get out to the internet. Excellent. Okay. So I'm going to um, bring up uh, PowerShell. And run PowerShell as administrator. And say yes. And I've got PowerShell up and running. Okay. So I need to go and find the... Um, I need to go and find the... Um, the um, Windows client, here it is. So I want to copy all of this. Copy, and I don't want to drag it. My clipboard's working. Let's see. Um, let's um, um, run Notepad and um, paste. And look at that. Excellent. So I'll just uh, save it on the desktop. 
And um, this time, and I'll call this um, Windows Client Agent or Elastic Defend. I said defend and save that. And um, I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to paste that. And We'll just wait a little while. So now it's expanding the archive. Yeah, it's installing the agent. So what we should see once the agent is installed is uh, we should see connection back. So if we go back to our um, here, you can see here we're confirming the agent enrollment. We're listening for the agent. So we're hoping we should see that um, that client connect when the agent is installed. Sit in. Uh, agent will run as a service. Do you want to continue? It was waiting for an enter. Yes. So the agent will run as a service and it will continue to run and send logs into um, into Elastic, which is what we want. So let's go back to, um, here we go. Log level, starting enrollment URL. Error, fail to execute request to fleet service, certificate signed by unknown authority. Uh, okay, so we might need to um, trust the um, trust the certificate um, signing. That's annoying. Oh, a little bit more work to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to rerun this with dash dash Insecure. Oops. I'm going to rerun this with um, dash dash insecure so that it's not going to worry about signed certificates. It's easier than exporting a certificate and putting it into a trusted root certificate so that we can trust the um, the CA that we put on into Cali Purple. So we'll just do it in insecure mode. And so yes to that. And with a bit of luck this time, um, it might register with the um, with Elastic. So I'll wait for the logs to come up. Okay, so we're starting to get some logs now. Yep, and we've enrolled the Elastic agent. And it's been installed. Fantastic. So let's go back to um, let's go back to here, and you can see here our agent has been enrolled, and here we, we've got confirm incoming data. So um, we'll just um, let's wait wait for that um, incoming data to confirm. Yep, incoming data confirmed. So next, analyze your data using your integration assets view assets. That would be interesting. So I'm going to uh, close this 
and um, do a refresh on this. So we've got our Windows Defend agent, which is running. And you can see here we've got um, one agent, one client, one client connected. Okay, so if we click on the um, the agent here, then what we can see is we can see in Fleet, we've got Windows 10, our Windows 10 client, and um, we have agent policy, Windows Defend policy, you can see information about it, CPU, our amount of memory, and um, this is to do with the um, the actual agent. But you can see here that the status is um, is healthy, which is fantastic. Let's have a look at the Windows Defend policy. And you can see here we've got um, Windows Defend. So um, let's click on uh, Windows Defend. And you can see here these these are our um, these are our integration settings. So if we scroll down and have a look, you can see we've got um, we've got two options. We've got um, detect and prevent. So if we have if we have it on prevent, which it's defaulted to, then it will prevent um, malware rather than just detecting malware. It'll um, it'll it'll um, it'll prevent malware and it'll um, It'll, it'll enable a block list. Enables associated with this policy is a collection of hashes, paths, and signers, um, which extends a list of processes. Yep, it's fantastic. So you can see here, these are the events that are collected, um, processes, oops, windows. So we've got events, events, event collections enabled, process events. We can we can also get other events like DLL and driver load, file events, network events. So you can see there's a whole bunch of events that we can collect on our on our Windows client that we're um, that we're um, we've integrated into um, into Elastic.